And welcome again, dear friends, to the Friday edition of Fresh Bread. Here it is now, Friday, February the 11th of 2022. So glad you could join me today for this time where we are going to look at God's Word. And again, I hope you're having a great week. Here we are toward the end of the work week and pray that you're doing well. This is again Friday, February the 11th, 2022. We're looking at our lectionary readings for this week. And I said earlier in the week we would stay in the New Testament all week. So today we're going to look at 1 Peter 1 and verses 17 to 1 Peter 2, chapter 1. So let's go ahead and read this, shall we? And if you call on the Father who without partiality judges according to one's work, conduct yourself throughout the time of your stay here in fear, knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct but received by and received by tradition from your fathers but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish without spot he indeed was foreordained before the foundation of the world but was manifest in these last times for you who through him believe in God who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are in the Lord since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit and sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart, having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. Because all flesh is as grass and all the glory of men is the flower of the grass. The grass withers and its flower falls away, but the word of the Lord endures forever. Therefore, laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking as newborn babes, desire the pure milk of the word that you may grow thereby, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Great section there. And so much again, just we're not going to have time to get on into all of it. I want to again just kind of focus on that last part uh, that we are to desire the pure milk of the word. You know, there's something about something that's just pure, isn't there? We all know when we're dealing with something that's really pure. And it's a blessing because we know it's not adulterated. It doesn't have any additives. It doesn't have a bunch of other stuff in it that we got to figure out. What in the world is this? Love things that are pure. And in this case, pure isn't so much of the ingredients as much as it describes our heart. It describes how we are in relation with God. The purity comes not from what we've done, but again from what Christ has done for us on the cross. And that when we realize what Christ has actually accomplished on the cross, and we put our complete trust and confidence in him, no longer are we looking at ourselves and what we can do to impress God or please him, but we just lay back and we recognize that Christ has done all of the work that needed to be done for us. And we can therefore allow the Holy Spirit to come in and guide us and to take away from us anything that is separating us from God so that we may live pure lives and holy lives and righteous lives, not because of what we've done, but because of the gift that Christ has given to us. He has given us his righteousness and his holiness. And we have to look at ourselves that way, again, not by what we've done, but by the gift of what Christ has already done for us. So, friends, thank you again for joining me today on this edition of Fresh Bread on Friday, February 11th, 2022. Hope to have you back tomorrow for the weekend edition of Fresh Bread. Until then, may God richly bless you as my prayer. Do have a great day.